I'm uh, Do Tom Schachter, and this is the uh, questionnaire with David Choi. All right. Um, he's a, a YouTube musician, uh, unsigned YouTube musician for all the labels out there. If you wanna mm -hmm. look for that, and um, this is the uh, questionnaire. Uh, so, uh, what uh, what are you doing these days? These days, wow, I'm extremely busy. Um, I am working on my second album. That's taking a lot of my time. Uh, you know, I, I do everything on the album, writing, producing, mixing. You know, I have a studio here. Um, so my you're, uh, you're in the process of, uh, oh. Yeah. Okay, so, so you're in the process of uh, just writing songs right now or actually recording stuff? I have all of the songs written. It's just the recording part. And then um, I'm on like a deadline because uh, I, I'm going to Korea in May and I have to have the CD done. Oh, so, what's, uh, what's in Korea? Um, Korea, I'm doing a few shows out there, um, and uh, I have a, uh, a sub-publisher out there who helps me um, distribute it over there. And he so helps there's a, the, a big fan base over there. I yeah, I mean, I, um, I, like, uh, I think about a year ago, no, not even a year, maybe eight months ago or so, I went to Korea and I did a show over there. Um, my first time in, in Korea, um, and I, I did a show, and it it was sold out with 150 people and I was blown away because here I am in my yeah, bedroom and they, they know me and uh, yeah it's it was pretty crazy so um, yeah, yeah I, was, I was kind of blown away so okay. uh, so uh, what uh, what turns you on creatively um well I gain inspiration from everywhere you know real life uh, personal stories or um, fr uh, stories of friends um, life in general um, I try to write from experience um, as much as I can so okay uh, okay if, if you were a mind reader whose mind would you like to read <laughs> Wow um, I've never gotten that question before um, I would like <laughs> to read the minds of uh, do I have to pick one person <laughs> um, if you have a list that's better <laughs> I um, I don't know, maybe the important figures, uh, the president, <laughs> uh, people who listen to my music, um, so I want to know what they think. Um, maybe I don't want to know what they think, but... Um, want to selectively read the mind. Yeah, I mean, that would be nice, you know, just to see what people are thinking. And it's kind of, it reminds me of that movie um, that, uh, what is it, Mel Gibson was in? Ah, uh, uh, Women yeah. Want, What Women Want. Yeah. So, too much knowledge is uh, maybe not, not a good thing. Yeah, yeah, maybe not a good thing, so. Okay. Uh, if you could uh, try, uh, time travel, what era would you like to visit? Huh. I thought about that one before. <laughs> um, I probably would want to travel to the beginning of time. To where right it when all it started? started right where it started. Just to see... I mean, what's, what's happening? <laughs> I mean, if you know that, then you're set for yeah. <laughs> you know everything, yeah. pretty much. You know the uh, beginning. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, what's uh, what's your favorite sound? My favorite sound. Um, you know, it it honestly it depends on the mood. Sometimes I want to hear something harsh, you know, like a uh, extremely hard rock, or you know, like if I'm working out, that's what I want. Sometimes if I'm relaxing, I would like. You know more, uh, you know something. Yeah, uh, somebody ears. So, you know, yeah. So it's all, it just depends on the situation. Okay. Well, is it uh, okay? So it's kind of um, a related question. What what uh, album or song influences you the most? Um, I listen to a lot of uh, oldies, Mo Motown. I, lo I love Motown uh, music. I love Stevie Wonder. Um, Diana Ross stuff, stuff like Diana Ross that kind of stuff um, that's I like jazz I like classical um, I listen to pop once in a while you know just to see what's on the radio and kind of uh, get a sense of the what's modern age up, yeah. 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 yeah so like top 40 was that? yeah yeah I mean I don't really listen to it for pleasure but um, I mean I do listen to it sometimes sometimes it's you know fun so <laughs> yeah uh, who, uh, who would you like to uh, collaborate with, and uh, why? Hmm, that's a tough one. Um, 
You know, I, I was signed to Warner Chapel Music um, in 2006 and seven, and I co-wrote with a lot of people. Um, I co-wrote with maybe about 50 people, and I kind of learned that out of those 50 people, there are probably only about three that you really want to write with all the time, and that you have a certain chemistry and you know personality type and stuff. Um, You're thinking about uh, just just to, to write with them or actually perform and go on tour with them. Oh, um, I'm just talking writing writing with them. Okay. Uh, but maybe even performing with them, you'd need some sort of a you know. Um, yeah, good, good chemistry. Good chemistry, yeah, exactly. So, um, man, I don't know. Um, there's a lot of artists that I I love, but I, I would be afraid to like. I love Stevie Wonder, but I would. I'd be afraid to stand next to him and perform. That would be, you know, it'd be awesome. But at the same time, it would be strange because you're standing next to like a legend, or idol, or exactly. So it's, um, so I don't really, I don't, I guess I, I didn't really answer your question. I don't really have someone, but, um, <laughs> yeah. I, I, <laughs> uh, what, uh, what, what drives you crazy? Drives me crazy. Um, Bad drivers. <laughs> okay. Uh, what uh, What makes you laugh? What makes me laugh? There's a lot of things that make me laugh. Uh, the type of humor I like is, um, I don't know, really stupid humor. I, I don't know. It's slapstick stuff like that, or just... yeah, kind of just goofy. Um, sometimes that w the witty stuff, you know, gets me to chuckle, but. To actually laugh out loud, probably like the really s stupid. You know, the more uh, uh, like the common denominator, like the lowest. Um, I mean. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Like like yeah. visual comedy stuff like that, or. Um, visual, you know, um, like uh, like Mad TV was my favorite favorite show. Um, okay. I like I, I like that kind of humor. Like, um, okay. who are some comedians? Um, can't think right now. That's almost okay. Yeah. Uh, what What was the uh, the first song you ever written? First song I ever wrote. Um, it was an instrumental piece. This is when I went home after I, you know, um, was inspired to write for the first time, and it was an instrumental piece. <laughs> I called it Lost Memory. And uh, Did you uh, and you, you publish it? You like upload it to YouTube and. Uh, no, actually, this was back in high school, in, the, in 2002. And, and do you, did you record it? It's... I recorded it on a cassette tape, and uh, eventually when I got a computer, I got a microphone, and I put it up to the, the, ah, the boombox. Like old-style old recording. Huh? Yeah, exactly, like cassette tape. Um, so that, that was my first recording, I guess you could say. Okay. Uh, if uh, if you had uh, three wishes, what would they be? Um, probably to have another hundred more wishes for one of them. <laughs> to start off. Yeah. To start off. <laughs> probably, uh, I don't know. There's so many things that I would want. You know, I would want to be financially stable. Mm -hmm. um, I would want like a plate of Chick-fil-A right in front of me. Whenever you uh, want it. Whenever I want. I just want to grab just it. Think just think about it. And, yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Um, for maybe, the world to be... Maybe uh, the form of Stevie Wonder. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. You never know. Yeah. Uh, what's, the, uh, what's the craziest thing you ever did? Craziest thing? That's the first thing that comes to mind. I ran naked. A mile. Naked. <laughs> Around a school track at night, <laughs> as a as a joke or as, a, as yeah, it was a joke. I mean, not for pleasure. Just <laughs> it was an interesting experience, but it was at like two in the morning or three in the morning, so no one was there. Hopefully, uh, okay. um, maybe in a as a related question, uh, what makes you feel embarrassed? Embarrassed. Um. Well, there was this one time. Uh, I don't really get embarrassed that much, but I do remember this one time. Uh, I was listening to a CD of an artist. Um, she was a friend of mine, and I told her, you know, I really, my favorite track out of all of these songs, it was 12 songs, is the last one. 